Do you like Power Rangers? I quite like Power Rangers. Can't say I've watched much of it in the last year. Well, don't know. Last year, all the Power Rangers has gone up on Netflix. So, I have watched a fair bit of it, I guess. But the point is, I feel like I haven't watched much of it. Because I've not seen really anything of Dino Charge? Dino? Yeah, I was going to call it Dino Thunder, but that's... that's 10, 15-ish years ago now. But yeah, I've not seen much of Dino Charge, and I haven't bought anything of it. I'm, I'm just... Uh, yeah. That said, I guess... I, it's, I don't know, you know? I don't know. I like Power Rangers. I think it's a good show that does good work. I quite like a lot of I like Super Sentai better. I've become that guy. I've become like the Super Sentai Defender slash Kamen Rider Man. Because like, you start life, you watch Power Rangers, Power Rangers is cracking, and then you discover that Super Sentai exists and you're like, oh my god, it's just better in every way. I mean, it's the same thing. Like, it's, it's In a lot of cases, in a lot of bits of the show, it's exactly the same thing. But then again, it's not. It's not the same thing at all. Because... <sighs> Oranges is quite bad, and Super Sentai is quite bad, but they're bad in quite different ways, because a lot of the time you watch Power Rangers and you're like, this is kind of just, mm, the acting's really gonna go, and like nothing really makes sense, and it was better back in the day, and you watch Super Sentai and you're like, this is, this is t ridiculous and ludicrous, and I bet if I understood the Japanese language, I'd, un I'd understand the fact that the acting's bad. But you watch Super Sentai and there's a commitment to bizarreness and outright absurdity that only the Japanese could really get to grips with. And you love it because you're like, oh my god, is this Super Sentai, this entire year's worth of Super Sentai, is, that just, is it just about trains? Oh my god, Tokajer, let's do many, many videos on why Tokajer was absolutely amazing. Kyogre. I'm going to call it Kyogre. You're going to have to learn this. YouTube people, you're going to have to learn that I call it Kyogre. I'll have ways in which I speak just to irritate people and just to irritate a small group of people. I refer to the dinosaur one from a couple of years ago as Kyogre. I forget why that started, but it was probably to annoy people. That's a good bet with me. That's a good thing to keep in mind of. But yes, the dinosaur one, quite like that as well. That pink monster was pretty fantastic. Those episodes where she was trying to like get humans emo because you know how like in like Super Sentai Power Rangers all the like monsters at some point are just after human emotions but it's always like fear or rage or anger or sadness. The pink monsters one was joy and she was just going about making cakes and she made a cake making monster to make people happy and she was just harvesting their joy. <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. But yes, I've got a Robo Knight to talk to you about today. Look at him. Look at his odd proportioned legs. I emphasize with these legs and they're like shortness and they're like stuff like his thigh is really long and he's it's really short. I, I, I love these legs. They hamper posing quite a lot, but I love them. I don't really remember much about Robo Knight. He was head Megaforce. Megaforce was quite bad, but in a way I can get behind and I kind of not trying, we're just going to lazily adapt the Sentai as much as that doesn't really make sense because we're also trying to make it like a 20th anniversary Power Rangers thing so we have to shoehorn in all these like 90s teen kind of elements but in the modern day it was a compromised thing and they clearly weren't trying. I like his design though, yeah, positives. I like the black, I like the silver. The thing on the back that's always bugged me about every toy I've ever had of Robo Knight, every toy I've ever had of Robo Knight being two toys, this guy and another guy, He's got this, like, flat back. I assume it's because he becomes his Zord, and I guess there's probably, like, a Sentai toy that's exactly... It's, it's, it's kind of... I don't know. It's like a marrying of design between what's in the show and what the toy is perfectly, because I bet this design works perfectly with the toy, but I don't know. It's, like, a step too far for me, because, like... Why is his back like that, other than to combine with a toy? Like, you know, it takes you out of it, doesn't it? You know, there's that line where, like, 
Sentai and Power Rangers can be as bizarre as it wants to be, but then you see a thing and you're like, oh, that's that's just for the toy, isn't it? And I guess I shouldn't be angry with that. I guess I should love that. But specifically on Robo Knight, I find it really weird because, like, why is his why does his back just abruptly end like that when it looks like it's going into a backpack? Like, is it missing a backpack? And why is this toy so detailed that it has that? His his arms are also a problem because they only go out this far. Everything, again, like the Metabot guy from a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, not a couple of minutes ago, but a couple of days ago, everything I could say about him is quite negative, but at the same time, I really love him. Like, I think he is a good wee toy. Maybe that's coloured by the fact I got him for 20p. Maybe that is affecting my brain noggin. I like him. I like Robonite. I've not seen the Megaforce Sentai. I do not know what them is. Is that Geki Ranger? No. Oh no, no, that's not Gekki Ranger. Gekki Ranger's the the Wild Force one. Oh, it's like a G though, isn't it? Oh, Gose. Gosager. Yeah. I've not seen that one. I will be butchering Japanese. I will be almost nearly offensively butchering Japanese. That is a thing. If you if you can't deal with that, then pff, not the channel for you. Not. I mean, it's my fault, but it's mainly because I'm Scotch. And if you're blaming the Scotch... That's no place to be, is it? Robo Knight. His head turns. Do, do you want to know about the possibility? It's not good. Like, he, he does that. I... Again... Look, his, his, his wee fingers are, like, painted in. Like, it, I, I like these toys. I like... I think... I don't know. I think at the time, <laughs> when Megaforce came out, and the toys were this size, they're, they're quite small, they're, like, a size smaller than what the current uh, Power Rangers toys are like, I think at the time I was again that I was like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this in smallening, in smallening of toys because they were charging the same amount for it, which is the key thing, I suppose. If you're going to charge a tenner, I suppose it should be bigger than this. But I haven't picked up a few of these guys. We might be looking at another one of them in another video coming up, just to be looking out for that, just to be touching my nose in a secretive manner. But currently, and because I've been buying these for twenty p. I quite like the size of them, you know? There's something, like I was saying at the start of this video, there's something weirdly squat about them, and I think that endears them to me in a very, kind of, I don't know, relatable kind of way. <laughs> but, yeah. He's a cool guy. I like him. I, I assume he came with a sword. Or is it a gun he has? Again, didn't really sit down to watch Megaforce. Megaforce was one of those shows I put on Netflix and just kind of watched in the background. It doesn't seem good, and he gave me memories of Robocop, and Robocop is terrifying. So, mixed memories there. As a toy, though, love him. Anyway, that's been today's video. If you would like, comment, and subscribe. Oh no, <laughs> I've messed up my thing. Like, comment, comply. That would be cracking. I'm going to press the button to turn the machine off now. Okay? Okay. Bye.